Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Chicken Police. Paint it red. We are back in the Czar Club. We've had a look at these pictures and now we're going to start speaking to some of these people that we've got in here and see if we can find out any information to help us uh, in our investigation. There's a lot of people here though, so let's start off with the henchman, I guess. We'll just this go from right to left. Certainly not a gangster henchman. Of course he's not. No, never. Okay, that's literally all we can do there. So, uh, we can't speak to these people. We can look at the fox fella though. Fox is a wolf who sends flowers. What? Oh, nothing. I read it somewhere. Okay. Fascinating. I didn't know you could read. <laughs> ha ha ha! Very funny. That's pretty funny. Uh, right, the stage. Let's have a look at the stage. We haven't looked at this yet. So it's empty at the moment. I so was here we go. To have missed the main event. You're a rusty old cock, that's why. <laughs> so says the little butt jam. But what? That's not even a word. <laughs> he now. made it up. All because of you. You should feel honored. Butt jam. Yeah, butt uh, jam. You know, Sonny, sometimes you're like an evil little child. I really do love the dynamic between those two. They're such good friends. Well, maybe. I still don't know what went on with the shooting. We need to know. Big buck. So, Here we go. Where the hell is Natasha? Well, let's ask that stud over there with those nice gals. Mm, that guy looks way too horny for my taste. <laughs> oh, man, your sense of humor is bad as ever. I don't know. I quite appreciated that joke. Again. What about... Uh, Nothing wrong with an occasional dad joke, that is for sure. Uh, right, we've got a waitress over she has here. Pretty long legs. I mean, pretty and long legs for a squirrel, but I don't want to be prejudiced. <laughs> We're not here to stare at pretty squirrels. We're here to investigate, remember? Yeah, we've got a job to do. Who's this? Hey, there's Filmar. Filmar? Oh, yes. Filmar. Because that's what he calls himself, right? You know him well? Hmm, I wonder who it is then. some seriously wild cases together, yes. Mainly in Averia, way before Clawville. Another place, mm. and another life. Sounds good. Like the blurb of some cheap Pulp Fiction book. <laughs> yeah, it was the exact opposite. But the old bird's worth saying hi to. Okay, we'll do that. We'll speak to this old bird. Uh, right, let's have a look under the people tab then. Because, uh, here we go, Filmar. A species Falcon, male. Special feature, an absolute average forgettable guy. And my old acquaintance from Averia. That's literally all we know for now. Uh, let's have a look at some other things and then maybe we'll talk to him. So there's a bartender and there's a fancy whiskey here. Which mm. it looks like we can pick up. Look, uh, Sonny... I know it's not my place, but Laura's father went to that guy when his, you know, problems uh, had gone too far. You're treading on thin ice, Marty. No, I just... <laughs> Look, fellas at the station are talking, you know? All kinds of things. Moses, Plato, Bosco, and the others. Talking, eh? About what? About why Blood Boil took my badge? About what an untrustworthy alcoholic wreck I am? Look, uh, I'm sorry, it doesn't matter. Good, and let it stay that way. So like all typical noir heroes, he has a bit of a drinking problem to try to deal with the loss of his family and things. At least we're cracking this one together, yeah? It's nice to see Marty and the others are concerned about him though, despite everything. Sure, Marty. But yeah, we got some whiskey for the uh, the inventory there. There it is, the Golden Eagle. Okay, can we talk to the bartender? A man I think we can, actually. Uh, that's not a dog, Sonny. That's a horse. <laughs> this has a very weird mane. I didn't mean him, Marty. I meant the bar. Of course. Oh, I see. Right. Yeah, because that totally makes sense. 
Doesn't make a lot of sense. Two whiskeys, kid, and no horsing around. Hey. I've never heard that one before. <laughs> uh, Sonny, you gotta drive, you know? Oh, yeah. yeah. You're right, Marty. Hey, long face. Give me a glass of tap water, too, okay? Yeah, tap water to sober up, I guess. Yes, sir. Coming right up. That wasn't exactly what I meant. No. Okay, we've got a new function that we can ask the bartender about things. Let's ask about Katzenko. Tell me, hey, Breath. Have you seen Natasha tonight? Not yet, sir. But she's coming on soon. Okay. Can you tell me anything about Mr. Ibn Wessler? Sir, I... I don't want to. What about... Mm. Let's see. Five dollars, maybe? But, sir, you haven't even paid for your drinks yet. Good point. Yeah, yeah, stop riding on the details, Big Nose. You do your job and <laughs> we'll nose. do ours, okay? I mean, we're not here for work, of course. We're just here to relax. Oh, yeah, exactly. Just a little fun. Yeah, sure. Of course, gentlemen. Doesn't believe us. All right, well, that's all we could ask. Gentlemen, your drinks. Yeah, uh, sorry, but we have to run. Uh, thanks anyway, Bojack. <laughs> <laughs> My name is not Bojack. Yeah, I tip you, pal, but I don't have any change, so... Sure, sir. The Tsar welcomes you back anytime. Sounds good, Bojack. So we're calling him Bojack. I love the way he does that like a horse, though. It's pretty funny. Uh, right, Filmar. Anything else? Well, yeah, we well, can speak to him. If it isn't the great detective, Marlowe. Blow me, Sonny. You know I don't use that name anymore. I wasn't expecting to have a voice like that. Okay. Mr. Dumbass alias Phil Marlowe. So says someone who tried to go undercover with a Feather Pillow Mafia is a turkey. Right, Mr. Turk Cayman? <laughs> hey, that was a long time ago. I was young. How does a chicken pretend to be a turkey? And I stick to my principles and my stupidity. Phil Marlowe and that's that. Don't rile me up, you old fart. Okay, okay. It's very hostile. Sorry, I'm a little clapped tonight. <laughs> uh, I know the feeling, pal. By the way, what are you two doing here? You stick out a bit. Are you here for a good old-fashioned beating? We stick out? Man, you look terrible. Like someone who sat on an electric pole. <laughs> I love the little details like that. It's so good. Don't even ask. I feel exactly like that. You want a case? Five feet tall, half of that legs, angelic voice, demonic eyes, just the usual. Oh boy. And you? Something like that. Just don't know the exact numbers yet. A dame named Natasha. She called us here. If I'm not mistaken, the joint is hers. Yeah, she owns the joint, amongst others. Well, good luck, guys. That broad has a reputation. She's not the kind to toy with, if you know what I mean. Any okay, well. Information? Sounds dangerous. Stop clucking around, Philmar. <laughs> well, all right, but just because of the old days. Look for me after you've talked to her. You wouldn't understand what I have to say about her before then. Don't leave right. unless you're thrown out. In which case, you know the drill. We don't know each other. I'll deny you in a blink. Good Fine. To see you too, old pal. We'll be back. So we're gonna have to speak to him after we've spoken to Natasha. Then. Oh, what's going on? Here he is. It's Wessler. Where is he? Huh. He's over here. Olivia and Wessler. Okay. Uh, let's... Let's have a look around. Just make sure there's nothing else that we can do. I don't think there is. But we have got a couple of things in our books. So let's look at those first. Uh, Phil Mar must know something about Natasha that could be important. He won't talk until I meet her. He seemed a bit nervous. Okay, so uh, we've got. So was that the clue then? Yes, it was. Right. 
And there was nothing else. There was something about Filmar, I think. So old comrade, uh, one of the best private eyes in the city. One of the very few people who can be trusted in Clawville. Okay, so we'll have to remember that. So, um... Let's, I guess, can we talk to Ibn Wessler or... Olivia? Should we look at Olivia first? That woman with Ibn... I think I know her from somewhere. Maybe in your dreams, pal. <laughs> All right, so Ibn, isn't that? Yeah, yeah, that's him. It is the great Ibn Wessler in the flesh. So much for our incognito. You think he noticed us? Probably. Only if he's not entirely blind. Ah, uh, great. Well, can we speak Just to him? Nonchalant, my friend. Guess we've got no, to. No, it can't be. What now? Is that Olivia? Where does he know this Nobody. Olivia from? Hey, uh, Olivia. Are you talking to me? It's me, Marty McChicken. Oh God. Oh no, what's the history between these two? What a pleasant surprise. The roaster coppers in person. Ah, his voice is perfect. Chicken police. But yeah, Mr. Wessler, you could say so. The name's... Sunny Featherland, of course, of course. Chicken police. Your partner is... Uh, he is... Uh, Marty McChicken. Sir, I, I just introduced myself to your lady companion second. <laughs> He's playing with you. Oh yeah. I'm so happy to see you. Hello, boys. So, to what do we owe this pleasure, gentlemen? Yeah, so, um, <clears throat> we, we were, um, just in the neighborhood, and... Yeah, I just pass him by. Cut the crap, Marty. All right, we're here for your sweetheart, Natasha. Oh, I see. No big deal. Just a blackmail thing. You know, horrifying threats written on the wall with blood red paint. The usual stuff. You must be familiar with this kind of thing. Oh yeah, indeed. It's a nasty business. But I didn't know Natasha hired a detective because of this simple matter. But to be honest, I understand. I would have taken matters into my own hands, you see. But I'm kind of busy. Yeah, sure, doing illegal things, you Mr. know. Mr. Wessler had a meeting with Attorney General Hamtaro yesterday, so he's rather tired. If you would excuse us. Mm. Oh, dear Olivia, it's okay. These gentlemen are just doing their job, right? And if I've heard correctly, they're notoriously thorough. So, how can I help you? We've got a few questions, if you don't mind. I'm at your service. I like this. Like he's he's going for what we're saying, but you can tell he's he's hiding things, isn't he? It's almost like you have nothing on me, so you know, fire away with your questions. He's been acting strange recently, as if he was trying to withdraw from his own shady business to live a simple life. It's not like him. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess. Okay, we can ask now then. So, I guess, do we do the Zar Club? Nice bunker you got here. Well, thank you, but it's not mine. Not anymore. But I'm sure you already know that. <laughs> Listen, detective. If you want to know something, please ask strength, huh? All okay. right, Mr. Wessler, let's make this a bit more professional. All right, so should we ask about these things? I'm not as exciting as people tend to believe. I grew up in a poor family of many siblings. I'm the only one still alive, unfortunately. My career started with a shoe store, and now, here I am. I wouldn't call that an average life. Shoe store owner to mob boss. True. How dare you speak to Mr. Wessler like that? Leave it, Olivia, dear. It's just provocation. Yeah, he knows how these things work. I'm sorry if I offended you, Mr. Wessler. Shall we talk about something else? 
All right, Hayworth. Everybody knows Mr. Hayworth. He's an antique piece of furniture in this city, so to speak. Only a bit worn out. It's not my fault that he's so much in debt, detective. But the name of his family still rings quite loud in Clawville. Is that right. still worth anything? The name is just their name, of course. But the name behind the name is another matter, Mr. Fiddleland. You're a pragmatic rat. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Katzenko. Look, detective. If you want to know something, just ask. All right, Mr. Wessler. Hmm. So this doesn't seem to be getting Has us anywhere. Has your assistant been working for you long? Are you talking about me? Yep. Yes, I'm talking about you, ma'am. Let me answer your question then. I've been in Mr. Wessler's employment for six months. Why do you ask? Oh, just, just interested. Uh, routine questioning, you know. Most of them aren't good for anything. Just killing time. It sounded rude to me. No. Please forgive a detective. Olivia's a real firecracker. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so we've asked about all those things. We've also Wessler got this. A tricky guy. Unfortunately, I don't know enough about him, so I have to be cunning. Right. I can't just pin him against a wall. Yet. Right, so we've got to be very careful here. Uh, how did you feel when you heard about the blackmail? How did you feel when you heard about the blackmail? Honestly, I found it ridiculous. And now? Now I'm kind of interested. But I wouldn't call it blackmail yet. They're just empty threats. There were no demands. Good point. Hmm. Thank you. Are we done? No, not quite. I'm sorry to hear that. Right, okay. Mistrustful. So, um... We've got a choice of... Why didn't you just call the police? And you seem a very busy man. May I ask what you can... what you do? Uh, I mean, I don't think we should go for the police option because, I mean, why would he call the police given his, you know, job? So let's go for this you one. You seem a very busy man. May I ask what you do? Eh, it's, uh, uninteresting. I'm sure. Would you elaborate? Eh, I got a small share in the meat substitute business. If the new product works, eh. Maybe we can make your job easier. You mean right. reduce predation in Clawville? There are such plans. Uh, if you're interested, talk to Olivia, my assistant. She's an expert in what she does. Uh, <laughs> unlike me. Thank you. That's it hmm. for now. Okay. New impression. Secretive. Is this place yours? How are your alibis? You're very taciturn, Mr. Wessler, though I've heard you're quite the speaker. I don't think we want to accuse him of anything. Because he said there, I can't just pin him against the wall. So we don't want to... We don't want to do anything which accuses him. Is this place yours? We know it isn't, because he already told us that earlier in the conversation. So, alibis? How are your alibis, Mr. Wessler? Am I a suspect? <laughs> that was fast. But thank you for asking. That's solid. Just ask Olivia. She can enlighten you in this matter too. If you're curious. No need. And no, you're not a suspect. Yet. No more than everyone else in Clawville. That's, uh, reassuring. I bet it is. is. tougher than I thought. And he's secretive. It's time to gently beat around the bush. Okay, so we can get a little bit tougher. Our detective meat has gone up quite a lot there. So, do you spend a lot of your time here? Are you and Natasha close? We already know that. We don't want to ask that. Don't you find these messages dangerous? I feel like that will make him angry. So, I'm thinking, were there any similar incidents? Or do you spend a lot of your time here? Hmm... Okay. What should we go for here? 
Let's ask if there were any similar incidents. Were there any similar incidents in Natasha's past? I mean, threats, blackmail, enemies, or insane fans. Psychopath pianists, perhaps. Oh, I don't know about enemies, but she's a celebrity. A star shining bright in Clawville's night sky. Do you understand? She gets endless fan mail. It could be anybody. Eh, I wouldn't overreact. Okay. Natasha doesn't feel that way. She definitely I've doesn't. Noticed. Uh, right. Okay, good. Plus 15 for that. Uh, is everything alright between you and Natasha? I don't think that's... quite the one to go for. Start talking straight, Wesley. There's no point in wasting each other's time. I think that's going to be too forceful, because he said gently beat around the bush. So that's going to be too much. He did mention the fans, though, so I'm thinking maybe we go for that. Do you think one of her fans is the culprit? Someone who can't take rejection, maybe. Why not? It's quite common. It's a True. typical motive, indeed. Any ideas who it could be? Yeah. Attorney General Hantaro is obsessed with Natasha, but he's, uh, more like the kiss on the hand, flowers bowing type. Throwing bricks through right. the window is not his style. I can't think of anybody else. Or rather, I can think of everybody else. About half the city, actually. Okay. So, excellent. That was right as well. We're doing really well. Would you be willing to... So, the mob boss and the pussycat. How did you even meet? Would you be willing to testify at the station? Definitely not. Have there been similar threats in the past? We already asked that, so I'm thinking it's the mob boss and the pussycat. The mob boss and the pussycat, eh? How did you even meet? Huh? Are you trying to piss me off, Corpora, so I accidentally let some Ooh, maybe not. secret slip out, huh? A simple answer would work. Maybe we got that one wrong. You know, Natasha... She's both connoisseur and muse. Uh, uh, so, uh, how was it? Uh, uh, when was it exactly? Maybe we shouldn't have said about the mob boss bit. You don't remember. That's strange. Ah, that is strange, yeah. actually. The millions, of course. It was like another lifetime. It happened right here. Only this place was called the millions back then. <laughs> she was a dancer. Behind the scenes, I arranged opportunities for her on the big stage. Yeah, maybe she still doesn't know it was me. Then one day, I invited her for a drink with a promise that if she was willing to meet me, I'd buy the place for her. Right, well, okay. She was willing. The next day, she had the club in her name. Wow, well, that was quick. That is romantic. <laughs> there are many kinds of romance, Birdman. There's cheap, and there's expensive. You get what you can afford. Okay, uh, wow, no, actually we've got plus 10 for that, so that was the right one. Uh, do you live in the same house? We've got literally one you question, so... you live in the so. same house as Natasha? Oh, you're really something. Natasha's a free woman, but mostly, yeah, at my place in Gold Town. But she has her own kind of a weekend house. Right. How often does she use the weekend house? I'm guessing at weekends. Yeah, every other weekend. Roughly. Every other weekend, I okay. See. That's very important information. Yeah, if you say so. We do. Uh, right, so. So Natasha feels like she's in grave danger, yet she's still going out alone. Is she completely alone when she's there at the weekend? Uh, hmm. Is she completely... I feel like if we ask that, he's going to get annoyed because it's almost like we're suggesting some sort of an affair. And given that he's quick-tempered, I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> so let's try this one and hope. So Natasha feels like she's in grave danger, yet she's still going out alone. Yeah, I know what you're getting at, but I'm 100% sure of her loyalty. She's gone out very rarely since this started, and mostly in my company. Yeah, you know, I'm not sure if you do, but uh, in our social circles, banquets and dinners are frequent. Hmm, illegal gambling nights. <laughs> you got me there. 
Yeah, you're right. Natasha is crazy about the roulette wheel. Always putting it all on the red, right? Yeah, you're a real rotten bastard, Sonny. Although, yeah, <laughs> always on the red. Yeah, right. So, can we meet your lady? Mm, I don't see why not. But first, please, listen to her sing. She's on soon. Alright, nice. I think we did... Okay. Oh, five stars! Nice, living legend, 100%. Wow, okay. Final thoughts, perfect job, exactly how you would have done 10 years ago. Beware, Clawville, Sunny Featherland and the Chicken Police are back in action. Okay, Ibn's trying very hard to change the subject when it comes to the threats. He obviously knows more than he's willing to tell. Thank you for your nice. time. We'll be seeing you. I have no doubt about that, unfortunately. Hey, uh, we should uh, grab a coffee or something, Olivia. You know. Really? For old time's sake. Really, Marty? Pleasure to meet you, gentlemen. Goodbye. Oh. <laughs> Please, take a seat. The show's gonna start soon. Alright, the show's gonna start soon. Here we go with the show. I love the cutscenes in this, it's so good. The eyes are in colour, interesting. Seems like Sonny was, um, was uh, quite enamoured with that performance. Unique. Oh, that is cute. Nobody has ever given me such a unique compliment before. Uh, forgive me, my name is Santino Featherland. <laughs> I thought so. You look more or less like I imagined. More or less? Sometimes less is more, Mr. Featherland. <clears throat> you were amazing, dear, <laughs> as always. Could you be my little furball and fetch me a cocktail? But of course. Ibn will be back soon. We'll have a few minutes to talk. Then he'll end the conversation and throw you both out. <laughs> ah. With all due respect, ma'am, we're not that easy to get rid of. Doesn't matter who's trying, believe me. Doesn't matter, he'll do it. That's why I'm telling you. I don't want a scene. My room's upstairs. Meet me there in 20 minutes. Come alone, Sonny. You'd be too conspicuous otherwise. Hey. I understand. <laughs> you know, they call him Target Marty at the station. I don't have time, Mr. Featherland. Oh, sure thing, Natasha. I'll come to your room. Three knocks, a short pause, then another three. I'll be waiting. Go, before he comes back. Right, interesting. I knew she was trouble the first time I saw her. She wore danger like a perfume. It was simply part of her being, and it attracted me, like light attracts the moth people. I wanted to be the microphone as she whispers her melodies. Or the pillow she rests her feet on while reading some cheap romance. 
I wanted to be her nightdress, barely touching, barely covering her marble skin. But I was a cop, and a lifetime wouldn't be enough to rid myself of what a woman like her hides under her makeup. Keep your distance, Sonny. Just keep your distance. Yeah, let's uh, not get into trouble, shall we? Okay then, guys. Quite a few bits of progress in this. Um, a bit longer than I was planning to go as well, but the story's really starting to pick up now, isn't it? So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, and Terminally Nerdy for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. It really helps YouTube push this video out to more people who'd like to watch it. And join our little point-and-click community that we're building here. And I'll see you all next time.